All right, these days the contours wouldn't have to look inside a purse to see if a woman has money. Mm -hmm. A Fendi or a Marc Jacobs bag can easily run tens of thousands of dollars. Ah, That's crazy. It really is. So it's really no wonder that the market for knockoffs is pretty hot. But a portion of those profits, get this, could be funding terrorism. Here's more from ABC's Brandy Hit. With the full force of the LAPD and FBI, officers swarm this building in Los Angeles. Looking for counterfeit crooks selling fake luxury purses. We've recovered today just under about a million dollars worth of product. Those same knockoff handbags mentioned on television shows like HBO's Sex and the City. That's like three thousand dollars or a hundred fifty. Fake have turned into a massive criminal enterprise. As high as four thousand dollars a day, a day. It's estimated counterfeit products rake in up to six hundred and fifty billion dollars a year worldwide, an all cash business. And officers say some of it funds gangs, organized crime, and much more. It does fund terrorism. It is out of control. Former FBI agent Brad Garrett says counterfeit sales have been tied to financing the first World Trade Center bombing, the 9-11 attacks, and Hezbollah. A low probability you're going to get caught, and if you do, even a lower probability you're going to do any time. And most of these bogus bags are made and shipped in from China. This batch worth $14 million was seized by the Port of Los Angeles in February. There's over 14,000 containers coming through our ports every single day. Only a certain percentage of that is being inspected. Detectives say the ones that do slip through end up online or in makeshift shops like these. And in this unit, they found a secret door. When law enforcement busted through, they found another room full of counterfeit gear. As the private firm investigative consultants inventories and stores the evidence here, these two men were booked on felony charges. But detectives say ultimately, it's up to shoppers to stop this crime wave. If there's always a consumer demand, guess what? There's always going to be sellers. Brandy Head, ABC News, Los Angeles. It's hard to ask someone to not buy a bag that course, looks like the yeah. real thing but costs have a fraction ever, of the you price. Ever rocked a phony? I have not rocked a phony, to be completely <laughs> honest. They have with these you, funny names like Fooey's and like they, a Louis is a Fooey and yes, all these great little funny names. They do, but there are some real good-looking fakes. I would out imagine there. a good fake probably costs a lot of money too. Well, I'm, I'm assuming it does. And all you have to do, all these FBI agents really have to do, is head on over to Chinatown here in New York City. That's the hotbed for it. There are so many of them out there. There yeah. really are. I mean, and, and Chinatown is one. Of the few places, one of the many places here in New York, but every city's got one of these. Oh, yeah, you got that right.